everyone and welcome back to Horse Haven! And oh my goodness, it has been so long since we have had a chance to dive into Horse Haven. And I'm so sorry about that, you guys, but don't worry, we are back here. We are at our German ranch, Apple Blossom Ranch, and it is looking as beautiful as ever. I really don't think I'm going to be able to make myself get rid of the year of the monkey decorations. Because just look at this! We've got our cherry trees happily growing next to the drums and the bright red columns. And it just, oh, the fireworks. In fact, can I invite some of you guys to help me out? with more fireworks because that would be amazing oh my goodness this is gonna be so fun hang on we've got it we've got to have some fireworks all right well actually i know what we'll have some fireworks as a celebration as usual i'm making myself hold off on having fun until after our chores are done but yes yeah, so i'm sorry there hasn't been much horse haven lately you guys i have been really sick and i had my 28th birthday this weekend you guys can see some amazing vlogs of the amazing presents from many of you horse haven lovers too which has been fantastic that people have sent our way and that reminds me one of the people who sent some horse haven things in fact several people who are uh, our horse haven friends sent some amazing gifts our way but one of them was katie b so we're gonna see if we can find katie b at some point today uh if i can hopefully manage to find time between everything we need to do so let's go ahead and check our mail really quickly okay that's a little bit of money there's just you know almost ninety thousand dollars coins if you're gonna call them coins instead sitting inside of our mailbox we should probably take that inside now and then there are 33,000 coins from social breeding rewards so thank you guys so much for coming by to breed with my horses if you have had success with the horses and you've like got a screenshot or something totally tweet me or just like message me in the comments and let me know what you have had born because I love seeing people who have had uh, our horses like have babies with them and Courtney has come to visit and so has so many of the unknowns I haven't been here for a few days I feel so bad Ooh, we have new friends we have so many new friends and I know I missed the daily quest we have another new friend oh my gosh we're gonna have to visit some people Courtney thank you so much for helping out and all of the unknowns which could be any of you and let's see what our daily quests are today and I'm really sad because you know that daily thing that shows up and if you go and you like click on it then you can get your daily rewards I was up into the 70s and then I got so sick I couldn't get out of bed uh not really <laughs> and like I was so sick I could hardly get out of bed I should say and I am now on like day two again of the daily thing so that makes me sad but that's okay all right so to finish the daily quest today we need to breed a horse in the german ranch um your horses can mate in a breeding house we need to sell eight forge which is the grass and we need to harvest nine carrots so we can pull all of those things off no problem in just a moment what what is this i know i set the mini mine to be working away when i left all right so the mini mine is working the big mine is working they're not quite ready for gems yet but the good news is we should be able to get tons of gorgeous gems from the peer breeders society the peer breeder society should offer quite a bit to us actually so i'm kind of curious <gasps> we can unlock the tier four quarter horse okay we're gonna be looking at that in just a second we have a lot to do trying to breed for aries finishing up the daily quest going to visit katie b because she sent some amazing she sent a tiny hat which was just like too amazing and cadbury chocolate from england and basically it was fantastic and you guys need to go watch that snail mail vlog because it was so cool but let's focus on our <gasps> you guys i forgot we were expanding i totally forgot we were expanding the grand stable we need to get over here and see oh my gosh okay you guys ready for this i am so excited all right and dun 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 <gasps> It's like a castle. It's like a giant, beautiful castle. What am I even going to put over here? This is so cool. Okay. And now we own the level four grand stable here in France. And that gives us 400 coins back. So you get back half the coins that you spend on these upgrades, which is fantastic. And I think we have some new quests now. Oh gosh. Own a level five grand stable in France is now a quest. Buy a bell tower from the German shop is actually a quest that gives you a sapphire. What? And own a level three grand stable in Montana is now a quest that would give us back 600. So I think it's going to cost like maybe 1200 then because it tends to it tends to give back half the coins or half the diamonds you have to invest in it so wow that's happening look at this it really does look like a castle how many horses can we fit in here now 
Can I have more room? <gasps> we have seven more horse slots. Yes, we'll be able to hopefully have some room to put our horses away and really start breeding um, more selectively for the tier three. So we'll have to work on that. And let's see, anything else I need to do over here? We have a foal. I probably need to put some of these horses away for now. Um, I'm gonna put the Leos away. Oh, it's so hard to make decisions because I want to be breeding so many of these different horses. All right. But I think for now, we're going to put the Leos away. Even though I don't really want to. All right, Stargaze, you're going to come out here, though. And we need to see what this little foal is and get this foal out. <gasps> oh, that's right. We have Fifi. She is actually another um, tier two. She's another tier two uh, Aries. Not Aries. <laughs> I'm getting them all mixed up because there's so many of them now. She's another one. I think that's the Aquarius. Yeah, another Aquarius and I Love this color so much. Okay, we're gonna spoil her a little bit We're just gonna we're gonna spoil her with some food. She's so pretty her mother storm uh, Is also a tier two though. So technically we don't need to keep her um, But we might raise her up a few levels before we send her on our way. All right so we've got like breeding and checking on the high breeder society and so many other tasks to do so let's hurry and get to work all right oh my gosh it's so messy over here we got to clean this place up and then we actually need to sell the grass so we need to sell the grass and we need to harvest some carrots all right my gosh it is so messy over here oh there's the diamonds i just every time i know i say it all the time but it cracks me up just the idea of somebody riding around my paddock wearing a bunch of diamond jewelry and i'm just like collecting it left and right because they're just leaving it all over the place all right almost there there we go that's enough carrots to complete that quest and now we need to sell nope not breed not breed we need to sell we need to sell things all right, and we need to sell a bunch of grass. So we'll just sell this. We're almost full up on our storage again. All right, that quest is complete. And now we need to breed a horse in the German ranch. So that's going to be our next goal, just so we can get all of that out of the way and then focus on some of the peer breeder society things and other issues. Let's see, what else can I work on over here? Let's get some blue feed. Well, I'm out of grass now. <laughs> Let's get more yellow feed, I guess. Um, and maybe some orange feed. I saw that somebody's going to want some orange feed. I think it was the little baby. Let's see. And green feed. Can't grab any green feed. We'll have to plant. Let's plant some grass really quickly. Just because it's always a good idea to try to keep that feed moving and grooving. And we also need to work on hopefully feeding up some of these horses. And... Breeding our Aries. So I need to find that Mel Shetland pony again to breed our Ford. Oh gosh, it's so hard to figure out how to say this correctly, even though you guys tell me in comments all the time. I'm sorry. What's her name? I can I can I can totally wimp out of having trouble pronouncing her breed of Okay, Pura! Pura! Oh, thank goodness, we know her name. Oh, and Night Candy uh leveled up. Okay, Night Candy, let's go check that out. But we need to breed Pura. And let's see. Ooh, Night Candy, are you gonna get super fast? Let's see if he's gonna get fast. All right, dun, 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 dun. Come on, Night Candy. No, stop, stop, stop. Yes, all right. So Night Candy just leveled up, which is fantastic. I would love to be able to get a tier four Arabian. That would be awesome, because uh, he is a mythic level Arabian. So there we go. That's taken care of, and let's see if we can finish the last daily quest, and then we're gonna check on the Pure Breeder Society. So much to do, geez. All right, so we've got Kain, and we've got all of the babies out. Um, we don't need to have this many of these horses. So Remus, are you just about ready? He's gonna level up though. So Apple is the one that we're keeping. Iko is the little baby boy. Uh, here's Firion, who is a tier one Pisces. Grand, we've gotten so many boys. All right, Grand, I think you can, Girion, you can go find a new home. Um, and then I think we're gonna go ahead and let little Eco maybe? Or Firion? Let's go ahead, Firion, you're gonna go ahead and find a new home too. There we go. And we could have raised them up for diamonds a little bit, but I kind of needed to clear these paddocks out, or these paddocks, these stables out. All right, so we're going to go ahead and try to breed Apple, if the horses are still at our friend's ranches, and I don't know if they will be, with Courtney's horse. Is that Katie B? I think this is Katie B. Maybe Katie B. This might be the Katie. Let's see what she's got. <laughs> We do have a few Katie's, but I hope this is the Katie who sent me the adorable little hat because I wanted to come visit her. <gasps> no way! I'm so jealous! Oh, our friends have some beautiful horses. Is this a Shetland? It is a Shetland! It's a female, though. I need a male. 
<laughs> oh, but this is a male. This is a male uh, Ford. Oh my gosh. Okay, that could be useful. There's a halflinger. There's another Aries. All right, Katie. Congratulations, because those are some really cute Aries. This is my birth horse, <laughs> since it's the horse of my birth month, and I need to come visit with it. So we know come visit Katie B with our Shetland pony. Well, do we have a Shetland? Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to double check what we have. I think we're missing the Shetland is the problem. All right, tier three quarter horse, tier two Aries, tier four quarter horse, what? Can we breed with her and like get a tier four? Is that something that can happen? Katie, I'm gonna have to come back and check this out. Oh my gosh. And then there's a tier two Arabian right here and a tier two Arabian right here. And this is actually magic tier three Aquarius, but we know where a tier, or tier two, we know where a tier three is if he's still out. All right, so let's check all these horses. Is this, <gasps> it's a male Shetland pony. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes, there's like the perfect lineup everywhere. Okay, Katie, I'm gonna have to like visit your place and she even has the bell tower out. All right Well, I know what to like do now. All right, so let's see and then I think Courtney And I'm so sorry because like Courtney and a whole bunch of other people have left their horses out for so long So that I can try to get like the tier threes and I just haven't managed to pull it off So if you guys have put them away, don't worry I'm just so grateful you gave me the opportunity because Ambrosia was here, but I don't know. Yeah, see, Courtney is doing the good thing. She has moved on to working on the Aries, which is totally what I'm going to do too. So I totally understand that. And we're just gonna have to try really hard <laughs> to breed for the uh, beautiful Pisces on our own because they're being so stubborn. Are these the tier fours? <gasps> There's more tier four quarter horses. Oh my gosh, I'm not sure how that works. So we're gonna have to unlock our tier four quarter and see if we can have our very first tier four horse with that fancy, fancy mane in just a moment here. And then a whole bunch of Australian Brumbies. There we go. All right, so we never did get Ambrosia to have a daughter of high rank, but that is okay. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can find another horse really quickly that we can breed apple with. So what about Skull Candy? Let's see if Skull Candy happens to have, just I'm thinking of the people I know off the top of my head who happen to have the Pisces, usually. Nope, but Skull Candy has left out Triton. So we need to come over and breed with Triton, I think. Well, Fooey, Fooey. Cause I needed, you know what, let's try, let's try this. Let's go back and try breeding with the tier four quarter. This is gonna be an experiment. And we have uh, Karine after all, so let's go back. Whoops, I keep clicking on the wrong things. And Katie B, Katie B, Katie B. Pretty sure that's the right Katie B. If not, I'm so sorry. There's Kim. It's really hard to keep track of people sometimes. I could have sworn it was closer up here, like level 40, 40. Yeah, there we go. Okay, here's AKDB. I really hope it's the right one. There's so, that's just so hard to keep track of everything. All right, and this is a female quarter horse. And then I think Courtney had a male quarter horse. So we could have our very first tier four. Yeah, I think Courtney is the one who had the tier, the tier four. And I apologize if I'm passing you guys up and you're like, but Siri, I have that. Cause it's just really hard. I like latch onto like one or two names cause I know what I'm looking for. But if you can let me know in comments then I'll try to visit you guys. And then the more often like you mention it like nicely, the more it's like, oh yeah, that person has that. I might be able to breed with their horses and we could get what we're looking for. All right, so this is an experiment. We're going to breed. Okay, right. is there a male? Here's Rose, a female. And here is Iko, a male tier four quarter horse. Oh, cause we can't breed with it until we unlock the ability. Okay, we've just learned something. Well, I've been thwarted in my efforts <laughs> to do the daily quest. So let's go ahead and see if we can unlock this. So we have, we have enough, <sighs> the thing is we have enough of the rubies to unlock this, but what if I wanted to get a Morgan or an Arabian? But I don't think we're gonna get an Arabian. That's 30 entire, like we need 30 more sapphires before we're gonna be able to unlock this certificate. I really love the Arabians though. Fooey, can I unlock it? It would cost 2,550 diamonds. Oh my gosh, I don't think I can do that. But we can do the show jumping at least. 
So we are going to collect this reward. It seems like you can keep your horses just constantly put into these events. So as long as you come back every few hours and check to see if the story event has finished, then you can come over. And that's why unlocking a story event might be really useful. Even if you're not able to get the horse that you're going for, it, like the tier that you're aiming for and unlock its ability. You still get a ton of gemstones from doing these and it keeps your horses busy, the other horses busy. So I think that's pretty useful. Night Candy, we're not going to be breeding you today, so you can go ahead and come on over. So for nine hours, he's going to be in the Horse World Expo. And when we come back in nine hours, that's like a free little boost of the fame points and a little bit of money and the, um, the sapphires. So that's pretty useful. So it's useful to come over and just constantly like be doing the tasks. Uh, like this one, we registered a foal, so that it could have a really cute colt, uh, or we're about to. There we go. All right, good. There you go, Aiko. So he's going to be busy for the next three hours, and it's just really nifty to be able to get those things. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. This is painful, but we're going to unlock the quarter. So now we have the ability to breed the quarter horse, and you just have to breed, like, the tier threes to get a tier four. And we have a certificate award, I guess? Like... Oh, awarded! I get it. Okay, so let's go back to the German ranch. And then we are going to go back to, to uh, our wonderful King Courtney. Do, 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 do. I wish there was an easier way to sort through all of your awesome friends because there's so many people and I can't find everybody super easy sometimes. There's Courtney. All right. And we're going to try this out. We're going to see if we can breed Karine to this male named Aiko. And let's see, where are you, Karine? There you are. And let's see what happens. So there's this huge chance that it's gonna be a tier one standard bread. <laughs> and then there's 11% chance that it'll be a female named Fancy who would be a tier four quarter. And then there's a smidgen of a chance that it could be a tier three Australian Brumby. So you can indeed get the opportunity to get the tier fours by breeding them just like any other horses. Or you could have this gigantic opportunity to have this tier, which is not quite what we were aiming for, but c'est la vie, I suppose. All right, so we're getting a standard bread. That's fine, you know, you, you come along and you just be adorable, you know. All right, and hopefully, did that give us, come on. Did that give us the... Ah! But that's not fair. <laughs> I want my daily quest complete. Because we... I had a horse. It's just really hard. You have to come in and you just have to like cross your fingers. Okay, I'm going to have to do that later. Because sometimes the game freezes when you invite people to help you with having a foal be born sooner than later. Alright, anyway, we've done enough fiddling around. Let's go and we're going to try to get some things done. So, we do not have, unfortunately... Uh, any of like the horse that we need to try breeding for the Aries here So we're gonna go ahead and go back over to Triton because I know he is waiting for us So we're gonna go to Skull Candy's place We're gonna go visit with Triton who is left out for us because she's amazing and we're going to try once again Storm Where are you Storm? There you are Storm. We're gonna try once again Ooh, There's the pure breeding event going on. I didn't even notice that Event bonus, spend diamonds and get a higher chance boost than usual. I, but, but I, I really want my tier three. I really, really, really want my tier three, but I don't know if I want my tier three 200 diamonds bad. Cause we still, it would still just give us like what, a 10% chance? Ugh. No, we're gonna save the diamonds, you guys. We've got way too many things we need to save diamonds for. All right, so we're aiming for that tiny smidgen of pink. And we would have missed it a far, far amount anyway. All right. So, Triton, you continue to populate my uh, my stables with your adorable daughters. And they continue to be tier one or twos. And that's just fine. It's wonderful to even be able to have the opportunity. So, thank you so much, Skull Candy, for constantly leaving your horses out for us. And we're going to get a move on. All right. Let's wrap this up. We're gonna come over here and we are gonna properly try breeding for the Aries. And don't worry, I will start assigning that ability to more of the uh, ranches. We're just kind of scattered right now because I need to sit down and like sort my horses. I need more space in my stables, which means we need to raise, we need to really raise these guys' levels um, so that we'll have more of these mythic Arabians. More mythic Arabians means we end up with more diamonds because these guys sell for almost 100 diamonds when they reach level 10. So they're kind of 
of the, the horses I breed. And I try to come back every few hours and make sure that they're still like leveling up so that we can level them up and then sell them for diamonds. In fact, do I have anybody who's ready to go yet? Ryu, are you ready to go yet? Ryu, for crying out loud, you're always just sitting around waiting to be fed. All right, what about Adonis? Nope, Adonis is way far away. He's five levels away. So we're, we're gonna kick these guys out into the uh, paddock in a little bit. But for now, we need to take our wonderful Pura and we need to see if we can find that Mel. I'm pretty sure Courtney actually had him. We need to see if we can find that Mel Shetland pony again. So I think, actually, was it Courtney or like, I'm trying to remember. I think Katie had the Shetland ponies. See, there's so many people. <laughs> Oh, it can be hard to keep everybody organized in my head. All right. I think it may have been Katie who has the Shetland ponies. Pretty darn sure that it's actually Katie. Is this a male though? It is a male. Okay. That's all we need. We needed a male Shetland pony. And then we need to take this one. And dun dun dun. They might have an Aries baby. All right. So we are aiming for this smidgen right here. So this is going to be a little tricky. And if we end up with um the Shetland Pony male that is also okay because then we'll have a Shetland Pony in our property but let's see if we get Aries. So this is only like maybe the second time that we have properly been able to try for an Aries. Dang it! We got the one of the three we didn't need. That's okay. We'll come back and try breeding again in a few hours because it's only six more hours before we're able to do so. All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much to everybody who has let us visit their areas and try getting horses bred on their their properties we need to work on trying to upgrade this grand stable holy days i need some more i need some more diamonds i like to have at least a thousand diamonds in storage at all times <sighs> i'm gonna have to work on this grand stable all right we'll work on that let's wrap up the day as usual with our quiz stand so let's take some quizzes and see what we've got and the next time we'll try to get a tier four quarter horse too Oh, right. Oh, boy. What's this? <laughs> the record for the highest jump by a horse was set in 1949. What was it? I'm going to go with 8 feet 9 inches. No, it was 8 feet 1 inch. All right. And polite clapping because I guessed it wrong. Which is the first location players can run a steeplechase game in? That's Brazil. What? Mexico. Okay, I got the... <laughs> That's really embarrassing. I knew the right answer and I got it wrong. Which of the following is... Uh, uh, following equestrian sports is not an Olympic sport. Um horse racing Woo! all right well at least i got a little bit of money all right you guys so we've got babies on the way we are overflowing with storage supplies we have more decorations to work on we've got a beautiful castle underway over in the french ranch and we've got a lot of organizing to do to make sure our horses are happy and we can visit many of your ranches next time so thank you guys so much for joining me and i'll see you then Bye bye